Welcome back to Miss Modesto's How To. Today we will learn how to draw the blue poison dart frog. How exciting, I know. The steps are drawn by me via Procreate and I pre-made templates for each step so you can follow along with ease. The steps I follow are from Drawing Wild Animals written by Oana Beffert and Maggie Rainbold. Follow along as you learn some cool facts. Step one, start by drawing two ovals, a smaller one for the head and a larger one for the body. Your first fun fact, the poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. Now here's step two, connect the two ovals and sketch a few thin lines as guides for its front legs and feet. For the back legs, draw horizontal Vs and add lines for the feet. Draw a circle for the eye. Fun fact number two. Poison dart frogs range from half an inch to two inches long. So to protect themselves from predators, the skin oozes a very strong poison that tastes bad and can kill an enemy. Coming at you with step three. Draw small circles on the end of each toe to represent the frog's toe pads. Here's your next fun fact. Poison frogs come in all different colors. Yellow, gold, copper, red, green, blue, or black. To other animals, the colors mean, I am poisonous, so don't you even think about eating me. Step four. As you follow your first guidelines, refine the final shapes of the thin areas of the front and back limbs and refine the main shape of the body. Add in a few bumps on the back of the frog. Most frog species are nocturnal, but boys and frogs are active during the day when their brightly colored bodies can be best seen and avoided. Step five, draw a big oval for the eye and a curved line above it to define its structure. Draw another curved line to create the bump above the eye in the background, which is not visible. Finalize the lines that define the whole shape of the frog and add a few small dots as part of the texture of the skin. I bet you didn't know a group of poison frogs is called an army. Step six. Now we'll go in and add some color with our first layer of blue. The golden poison frog is the most poisonous animal in the world producing enough to kill not one, not two, but 10 humans. Who knew something so small could pack a huge punch? Step seven, if you're using paint, make sure your first layer of color is dry. Then continue to add a darker shade of blue in the shadow areas. Also add the dots on the back and head. These little frogs' poison would be used to coat tips of blow darts in South America for hunting, which is where they got their name. Step eight, your final step. If you'd like to add an extra effect of texture and dimension, use some white paint or liquid white out to draw white dots along the body, head, and legs. This will give the frog that shiny effect and make it look even more real. And there you have it. You just drew your blue poison dart frog. 
give yourself a pat on the back. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Try to quiz yourself on some of the fun facts that you learned today.